Well, the Indianapolis area hospital operating without computers today. It's all because of a cyber attack they learned about over the weekend. Zach Myers with our Indy station WXIN joins us live. So, Zach, you were able to get a look inside the hospital at how they're providing care, and that's in spite of no computer network. Yeah, that's right, Nicole. It's still not clear if the hackers got away with any sensitive information. The FBI is still investigating that, but yeah, right now they're having to rely on old school methods while their computer network is shut down across their system. Today we saw doctors and nurses writing out patient charts and notes on paper with signs on computer screens that said, do not use. A younger nurse told me she's never had to do a patient chart on paper before or interpret a doctor's handwriting. An older nurse said it was actually comfortable to go back to a method she was familiar with from years ago. Lab orders and prescriptions are being sent on paper via courier or over the phone. And of course, all of this is to close the computer network down to minimize any damage from the hack. So, so far, Johnson Memorial's president says they've been able to maintain a full surgery schedule and only a few appointments have been postponed. But this is slowing everything down, and that is why the emergency room is diverting patients to other facilities for the time being. Now, as I mentioned, the FBI is investigating this hack. Still not clear how much information may or may not have gotten out. So the plan right now is to keep the ER on diversion and basically just keep maintaining day by day the best way that they can on paper until they're able to uh, reboot their system. And that could be weeks rather than, uh, rather than days. Reporting in Indianapolis, I'm Zach Myers. Nicole, back to you. Yeah, I have to go old school there. All right, Zach, thank you for that.